Hi, uh, I'm Tori Stenmark at Shoreline Community College, and I'm going to review for you how to fill an NMR2. So, um, this is your NMR2. You're going to need to put some sample in it, dissolved in a suitable deuterated solvent, uh, and put a cap on it. So, we're going to go ahead and use uh, a little bit of benzoic acid. You use whatever sample you might have, uh, which will probably not come in a vial like that. But you just need a little bit of it in a fine powdered form. And what I like to do is get a standard uh, Pasteur pipette. And it's basically like you're filling a uh, melting point capillary tube, except more so. Uh, you need more sample, but I'm just sort of tapping it down into the sample, forcing it up. All right. So um, I keep tapping my uh, Pasteur pipette into the solid till I get eh, about that much, so maybe about a centimeter or so in the pipette. Um, it doesn't have to be precise, but about that much, I would say. Now that I have my sample here, I want to get it into the NMR tube, so I just have it balanced in there. Now it's pretty easy if you're not careful to chip off the tops, um, so be gentle handling it so it doesn't crack too much. All right, so there's that. Uh, I'm going to set that in the stand here for a moment. Uh, there we go, and get a pipette bowl so that I can then bring in the solvent. Now the solvent we're going to use in the NMR is uh, deuterated chloroform. You can use other solvents too, um, but they have to be deuterated. It can't have any hydrogens in it because we're going to look at the hydrogens in our sample. Uh, so this is CDCL3. Uh, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use um, regular chloroform for the demo because that's uh, this is expensive. So the chloroform that you're going to use is probably going to have a TMS already added to it, which is a reference standard that you're going to set that peak to equal zero in the NMR. Um, so it will say has TMS added or it will say that it doesn't. Um, so don't stick your pipette straight in the right agent bottles. Use a separate beaker here so I have a little bit of chloroform in my beaker. And now what I want to do is run my chloroform through this pipette into to dissolve it into the NMR tube. So I'm going to pull up a little bit here, not a ton, and just run it in like that. And I'm not adding too much in there because I want to let it dissolve the benzoic acid. Um, and as it sits there, I can see it's starting to dissolve a little bit and float up and some of it's starting to trickle through. So I'm just going to let it sit there and do its thing. There we go. So now I've got some of it in solution, some of it's still in here. So I'm just going to sort of keep doing that slowly, add a little bit of chloroform like this, and just let it, as it runs through, it's going to carry the benzoic acid down and start dissolving a little bit more at a time. All right, so I got everything in there. I want to check, so this is um, our uh, depth gauge for the NMR, and I want to get my solvent level um, to be somewhere around the top of it or a little higher, just to be extra sure. So um, I am not there yet, so I'm just going to add a little bit more solvent to that. There we go, a little over the top. Again, the exact amount over isn't super critical. Then I'm going to put a little cap on it, which just slides over nice and gentle, make sure it's on straight. And then if you're only doing one sample, you know, this isn't as critical, but if there's any chance that you're going to do multiple samples or if you're going to walk away from it, it's a good idea to just label either right on top of the NMR tube on the cap or they've got little white bits on the side and you can put in, I'm putting my initials here, notebook code, you know, notebook page, whatever, benzoic acid, something so that you know what sample you're holding. So now I have an NMR tube. It contains my solvent and my compound dissolved in it. There's not any solid or anything in there. It's all dissolved in. Um, it's got a cap on it, and I am ready to stick that in the instrument.